Okay, Bree, mommy's all done. Come on. We just have to go over one uh, problem. You did really, really good. Okay. We'll write it like an algebra equation. Remember how they told you? So it will be what? It'll be 0 0.5. You got it. Okay. Good job. So what's your answer? Yes, so that's it. So it's $300. $300. Mm -hmm. So $300. Good job. Because you were finding, what, 35% of the money that she uh, needed. Oh, yeah, mommy's tea is ready. <laughs> okay. Yeah. guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I am finally bringing to you a day in our life or a day in our homeschool I should say um, we already started off our homeschooling day as you guys are already seen my oldest completed math um, I really need to go ahead and get started with breakfast the only thing that I did was I made myself some coffee well coffee <laughs> i am trying to limit the amount of caffeine that i'm drinking now so this is actually roma which is like a coffee alternative and it's really really good you guys so um i made myself a little cup and we're just going to go ahead and get on into our day uh this is so crazy this is like my first day in a life that i'm filming for you guys for this homeschooling year and um i'm excited to like bring to you guys like more day in a life so uh, it's really, really hard for me now to make these day in the lives because I'm homeschooling all three of my kiddos in some form of capacity. And it's kind of like hard to maneuver all of the moving parts. <laughs> um, and yeah, so as you guys can hear, you can hear all the kiddos in the background. They're pretty loud, but this is, you know, my homeschool. This is our day in the life. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to make a quick breakfast. My daughter wants us to have cream of wheat today which is kind of like a hot cereal i'm gonna cook it takes really really uh fast for us to cook it and uh, we're gonna eat some breakfast and continue on our homeschooling day okay you guys brie wanted to make breakfast for us but this is cream of wheat since it's now officially fall we really really enjoy this hot cereal and then we're probably going to go ahead and have some um sausages with it as well so uh that's kind of like our simple breakfast and the younger kids, they like to eat cereal. So yeah, so this takes like two and a half minutes and we're eating breakfast. And of course I have like fruit and stuff like that for them as well. Okay, you guys, now while I have breakfast starting, I'm gonna go ahead and go over everything I want Brielle to accomplish for today so she can still feel like she's independent and I love using my student or using her student planner and just having her write down everything that's in my planner so she can kind of know what i'm expecting of her for the day so when i get started with my younger kiddos she doesn't really have to wait on me she can kind of continue on with her subjects so uh we're just going to go ahead and go through everything she needs to do for today so um here let me go ahead and pull out where we need to be at Okay, so for your English today, what you're going to go ahead and do is um, you are going to go ahead and start your short scene. So it's assignment two. Uh huh. So it's actually going to be assignment number three. Yeah, it's assignment number three. So you are you're going to work on your. Um, you're gonna use your vocabulary words to do a short scene. Now you have all week to do this assignment, so, and Brie, it's just one scene. Yeah, I don't you make a whole chapter. You can't make a whole chapter, it's just one scene. That's all they wanna yeah. see, and you use your vocabulary words. God made all things. 
God made everything. Your hands made us all. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 8. There are some pretty interesting, really weird animals in God's creation. They don't frighten me at all. Don't show me frogs and snakes and listen for my scream. If I'm afraid at all, it's only in my dreams. I've got a magic charm that I keep up my sleeve. I can walk the ocean floor and never have to breathe. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Not at all. Not at all. Life doesn't frighten me at all. By my aunt. By my aunt. Like, yes. Good job, Bree. Good job. Okay, you guys, I'm going to give you a quick overview of all of the curriculum that my sixth grader is using because she works pretty well independently. As you guys already seen, I went ahead and I went over her day and her student planner. So she kind of already has a good idea of what she's going to be doing for today. So um, like I, when I always watch these Dana Life videos, you guys, I always love seeing like what the kiddos are using. So I'm going to give you a brief overview, especially if you guys are new here. So for vocabulary, this is what Brielle's going to do in this morning. These are vocabulary cartoons and they're really, really cute um, cartoons that actually helps really retain or her retain vocabulary. And this has been working really, really well for her. She uses each of her vocabulary words in her uh, vocabulary notebook and she does all the little exercises in here as well with the word and then once we get to the unit review she has like a little oral quiz that we do together and we've really been enjoying this so this is her vocabulary cartoons we actually also started using word ladders as well I think this is the grades four through six this was just a free PDF I decided to just try for Brielle because a vocabulary is a skill we're really trying to hone in on this year and she really really enjoys word ladders so these are her two things that she's going to do this morning as her independent work for her vocabulary uh, in her uh, folder as well I have her fix a grammar we pulled this baby back out I have her Oak Meadows English I have her uh, English notebook this is actually her old fifth grade one you guys I just put a sticker over it and she uses this when she's doing any type of grammar or vocabulary or sentences short stories that she does in her Oak Meadows um, English course book here is our ancient history notebook, and then here is our Oak Meadows Ancient Civilizations for History. This is her science notebook, our Oak Meadows Basic Life Science. This is her handwriting. I also went ahead and pulled out one of our supplements, which is 180 Days of Science. This I had since last year, so this was a good addition to our homeschool. This is her Flex Binder, which has like loose leaf paper that she uses when she's doing either her IEW or any type of rough drafts for her writing assignments in Oak Meadow. And of course, you guys, we pulled back out our old faithful IEW structure and style. We did our first week last week. This week we're not doing IEW because Brielle's actually writing her first um, expository essay in her ancient civilizations because we're actually on ancient Africa right now. So this is her little uh, lineup right here in her basket. And after we're done and I'm working and checking all her work, we'll take her basket upstairs. So this is all of Brielle's curricula. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and stack up all of her morning work and I'm going to go ahead and begin working with my kindergartner. Hey you guys, I am upstairs right now and since I went ahead and I set up everything for Brielle to work independently, what I typically do is I come upstairs real quick and I read over my kindergartner's, um, her instructions for like her preschool and I have like everything out that I need. So we're going over like basic addiction. So I went ahead and made sure that I made all the new flashcards that I need for Leia. All I needed to make was like a, a plus sign and an equal sign for her for her math. I have everything all laid out right here for her all about reading. And I went ahead and I put the Letter Tiles app already on my computer. So I can already have that ready to go when working with her. Because when I call her up here, you guys, I have to be on point. Because like my her attention span is really, really short. <laughs> and I have to like get the lessons in with her. So I'm going to try to record as much as I can with her. But I'm not going to guarantee you guys that I'm going to be able to get a lot of stuff with her. Because her lessons, like I said, I have to be be really really focused with her so I have everything ready for all the stuff that we're gonna need and we're gonna go ahead and get into working with my kindergartner. Come on Lay, you ready for school? Ready to school? Yeah you gotta do good in school do good in school give me a kiss mm -hmm. okay come on let's do your sound cards you ready let's do, let's do white ones you wanna do your white ones okay go ahead put them on the floor okay all right you ready mommy needs mommy needs the where's the Good job. At. 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 Good job. At. Good job. It. Er. Uh, 
Yeah. <sighs> Here, we're gonna build some words. Yes. Uh, uh. Bam. Bam. Bam, good uh, job. Let me do another one. You wanna do another one? Okay. Okay, we'll do ones that you know. Here we go. You ready? Right here. Right. It's right here. Wanna hold it? Okay, go ahead. Try to slow, let's slow down. Add. Had. Had. Great job. Uh oh, we got one. <laughs> go get it. Yeah, we're gonna do. Let's do some shapes. Uh, we're not gonna do shapes today. Like today. We're going to review over tally marks. Okay. You remember when we did our tally marks? Yes. Ms. Yeah? Okay, or here. Or me, me. Here, look, Lay. Are you ready? Yes, me, me. We're gonna make, guess how many tally marks we're gonna make? We're gonna make six tally marks. Okay, uh-oh, Mommy can't open it first. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay, look, me. let's make six. You ready? Look, yeah. look at mine, Lay. Two, three, four, five, and six. Six. Good job. Can you make six tally marks? Here. Let me see yours. Says six. Good job. Okay, like, can you show me six fingers? Let me see six fingers. Oh, you can keep it open. We're gonna need it open. Okay, you ready? Okay, keep it like mine. You ready? Can you show me six fingers? Right. One, two, mm -hmm. three. Good job, six, six fingers. Okay, look at our toys today. We're gonna use our fingers to solve it, okay? Are you ready? Look like one plus two equals three. Good job, great job. So one plus two equals three. It's Monday and it's Monday, it's Tuesday and it's Wednesday, it's Thursday and it's Friday, and then it's Saturday, days of the week, Oh yeah, days of the week, oh, oh. days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. March. One more time now. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. All right, all done. Give me five. Yeah, he's first. Bam, he's you all done. First. One is gonna come next? Okay. All right, you did good, baby. Yeah, good job. Okay, Baba, you ready? You gonna go to school, school with Baba? Okay. Okay. Let's let's go over our letter sounds first. Okay, you ready? We're gonna work in our, we're gonna do our book. Okay, here, let's get your crown. Crocodile. Yeah, we're gonna do your crocodile book. I got a crocodile. Yeah, you do have a crocodile book. Okay, here we go. Here, let's find out the page we're at. Oh yeah, we are right here. Okay, are you ready? Oh, are you ready? Okay, you still wanna play with Play-Doh? Or you wanna do your, your crocodile book? Look, you got played all over your face. You wanna do your crocodile book? Okay, are you ready? Look, look, Bubba. You ready? Which seal is different? We're gonna put a sticker on the one that's different. Oh, you wanna see smiley faces? Okay, you guys, at this point, I typically do a quick reset in my homeschool room. I just make sure I tidy up all of the things that I use with my preschooler and with my kindergartner. And I like to stack up the items that I'm going to be using for the next day. So since this is Tuesday, I already have everything planned out for the next day. So this whole time I was upstairs, my sixth grader was actually downstairs working independently. Um, and we swapped off while one of the kiddos was playing independently with their toys. So she loves this autonomy that I give her in our homeschool to be able to follow her checklist, do everything that she has to do. So right now, my younger two, they found another toy to play with independently and they're eating some crackers. They're having a little snack time. And during this time, while my oldest is still working, I like to do a chore in the house. So right now I'm just sweeping up the Play-Doh mess that they made. I went ahead and I popped in another load of laundry and I just make sure to use my time effectively 
busy uh, throughout the day, so I don't have everything just pile up on me. <laughs> Okay, you guys, Bree, she finished all of her independent work. I went ahead and I just put it back in her basket because we're gonna take a quick break. I'm kinda tired. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and eat some lunch right now. I'm gonna take the kids outside. And then when we come back for our second half in the afternoon, I'll go ahead and go over all of Brielle's morning work and then we'll do history today because today is history. And then after that, our day is pretty much gonna be uh, over as far as like our homeschooling day. The kids like to do like a lot of free play and stuff in the afternoon. Uh, Brielle does a lot of like her reading and stuff in the afternoon. So um, I'm gonna just go ahead and share with you guys our second half of our homeschool day. But for right now, we're gonna take a quick break, eat lunch, and we're gonna go outside. Rabbit rice bowl. I'll buy that one, Minnie said. And she pointed at the fiery orange fish with the black eyes and fin that had caught her eye. The other village children looked at her enviously, while the watching adults shook their heads. Okay, you guys, while the kids are finishing up lunch and they're cleaning up downstairs, I just ran upstairs to go ahead and grade Brielle's morning work from the morning time. She did excellent on her fix-it grammar. As far as her Oak Meadow, this week she's actually going to be writing an expository essay. We are on lesson 11. So on Monday, she went ahead and defined all of her vocabulary words. And today, what you guys was watching her do earlier this morning was she went ahead and used her vocabulary words and she created like a short scene. And uh, they give her all the instructions of how her short scene should be uh, written. And she really, really had fun doing that creative writing assignment. So she uh, finished up this right here. So what she'll probably do is tomorrow, she'll probably type it and we'll listen to it together. And then towards the end of the week, what she will, she will do is since she is actually finishing up reading her independent assignment reader, which is the Rainbow People, they have an assignment for her to go ahead and choose one of the following activities to do uh, as like her reading recap assignment. So she'll probably do this next week because I'm going to take two weeks on this particular lesson because she is writing a five paragraph essay in her history. I wanna give her enough time to be able to do all the assignments. And I found some of the weeks we just spend two weeks on it instead of one, which is perfectly fine. They all seem to be like lining up pretty well. So I'm not too worried that we're going to spend two weeks on this particular week's worth of assignments. Because how Oak Meadow works is, um, you pretty much, they give you a list of the assignments, like you see this is English, and then I choose to break up all the assignments however we wanna do them, and or sometimes I go ahead and skip some of the assignments. I'm really customizing this to work for us. So since we're on Ancient Africa, these are some of the additional picture book reads that we are going to go ahead and read. I went ahead and I was able to reserve these on Hoopla. So when Brielle comes upstairs, we're going to go ahead and listen to one of the Anastas, um, what is it like the little picture book Anista the spider we're going to listen to him uh on hoopla and then what brielle is going to do for history is since this is tuesday on monday she typically does like all of her um reading so what she's going to do is finish up reading her uh independent reading on ancient africa so she stopped right here so she's gonna head, go ahead and finish reading about the drums, art, and storytelling. So that's one, two, three. She has four more pages of reading to do. And then um, she is also going to go ahead and choose the topic that she wants to write her expository essay on. So um, they have a lot of topics that she can choose from. So here's the topics A through D that she can choose from for her expository essay. And she told me she wants to research one of the ancient African kingdoms and do her five paragraph essay on that. So today, what she'll probably do is finish reading and doing the outline. And all I'm going to do with Brielle this afternoon is just read one of our uh, picture books together and just let her finish off her independent assigned reading. And then if she wants to, she can go ahead and start her outline for her uh, expository essay. But I'm giving her two weeks to work on that. So if she doesn't do her outline, it's perfectly fine. So that is my lineup that I'm gonna have us do for our ancient Africa. As you guys seen earlier, we read some of our old faithfuls. We did Africa study in her third grade year. And I still have so many of the Africa picture books. So we read these two. We all went on a safari and bring in rain to Kapiti Plain. And then for her research, I went ahead and checked this book out. It's called African Beginnings. And it does have a lot of information on the beginning, like African empires, 
And I also have this book right here I'm gonna pull out for her. This is called Timelines from Black History. So when she is writing about one of the ancient empires, she can come in here and grab more information as well. So I just make sure I really um, have a lot of resources because this curricula is really based off of her doing like research, writing, and she always needs additional resources. So I make sure I have been either pulling off books from my shelf or utilizing our local library. So I'm gonna go ahead and check on the kids and I'm going to bring Brielle up here and we're going to go ahead and listen to her story and I'm going to let her finish off her day working independently. The Nancy and the Moss Covered Rock Retold by Eric A. Kimmel Illustrated by Janet Stevens Okay, you guys, it is the end of of our homeschooling day. <laughs> um, we actually did pretty good with timing. It is about 1.57, so almost two o'clock. Bree is finishing up her independent reading in her room. She just likes to get comfortable reading her history. And like I said before, we'll probably start, she'll probably start her outline for her um, essay tomorrow, since this is only Tuesday. So um, I just wanted to just chit chat with you guys. And I have a cool unboxing. So you guys, um, I recently got this in the mail, IEW. I have been working with IEW, you guys, now for about a year. And they went ahead and they sent me a package. And I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, if I can open it up. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there we go. So this is actually... This is actually their new intro to public speaking uh, course that they just released, I believe this year. And this is meant for middle schoolers and high schoolers. So I am so excited you guys to give you like a flip through in my initial review of the introduction to public speaking from IEW video. I definitely know this is going to be our next course in IEW because right now, as you guys know, we are actually Actually working on IEW structure and style uh, level 1B so we're in like the middle school series so I'm definitely excited to do the public speaking in Brielle's seventh grade year but again like I said I will open this baby up in another video give you my initial thoughts and my initial review of their public speaking course so thank you IEW for sending this to me I am so excited I have been thoroughly like happy with all of like IEW's products. At this point, I have done three of the Fix-It Grammar books. We're on the fourth book and I've done two levels of um, IEW or we will, we're in our second level of the IEW writing program. And I have seen tremendous growth in both of those programs with my daughter's writing and her grammar instruction. And uh, it really has taken the pressure off of me as the homeschooling mom, like writing and language arts is my weakest subject. And to be able to like outsource these things has been amazing. And to find really strong and thorough curricula choices for these particular language arts pieces um, has been so happy. It's just like, I can just take a sigh of deep breath <laughs> because I don't have to think about this particular area for my oldest daughter, especially now that she's kind of getting up there. So um, I'm so excited. And the black box, you guys, it's so sleek, ain't it? So um, I'm excited to kind of dig into the intro to public speaking from IEW. Uh, but you guys, like right now, what I typically do is I kind of reassess my house. I know I have a sink full of dishes. I know I have a pile of laundry on my chair I need to fold. So right now I'm really going to do like my second reset as far as the house after our homeschooling days. So now for me this is really like a time where I'll do like some light chores and to really be honest you guys I have been making sure my younger two right now they're playing independently that's why you really don't hear them they're still playing with their toys but I will um, lay them down for quiet time. And you guys, I have been taking naps in the afternoon. I just wanna encourage you mamas, like we do so much. And if you feel tired, please rest. I have been resting when I feel like I need to. And um, it's really been uh, rejuvenating me, even if it's just like 15, 20, 30 minutes, I get to just close my eyes. I do that 
and then I, you know, wake up for my second half of my day, which is, of course, you know, like the dinner, the evening rush, and then, you know, bedtime and stuff like that. So I definitely need that little burst of energy to get me through the rest of my day. So um, I hope you guys really enjoy seeing our homeschooling day. Just uh, remember that these are just snippets of my day. This is not like my day in its entirety. Um, today ran pretty smoothly. It doesn't always happen that way, especially with, you know, my younger two uh, running around around here but today was a pretty smooth day and I hope you guys enjoyed this day in a life and I really need to get back to making more of these for you guys so as always you guys thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye